Get into Money Mondays uh, with Windrows Chifarimba. He is an award-winning uh, marketplace evangelist. We are looking at uh, creating your own economy. Windrows, good morning and uh, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much, V. Candy. I'm so happy to be in this wonderful show. So creating your own economy, your personal economy, it is a conversation that she started last week. Uh, let's get straight into it without wasting much time. Yes, V. Candy. Everyone has got a capacity within themselves to build and create their own economy that feeds and sustains them. Uh, last week, uh, we defined an economy as a system that produces, uh, distributes, uh, and consumes goods and services. So you create your own economy when you establish a money creation system that produces, distributes, and uh, uh, goods and services that people can actually consume. So it is uh, of paramount importance uh, that as individuals we come to a space where we have got our own economy that sustains and feeds us. There is a misconception that people have when they hear the word economy. They want to know what Yes. But uh, uh, economy is uh, something that starts with you. Um, they, we have got um, personal economies. We have got national economy. Uh, the national economy is built uh, by um, collective individual economies of its citizens uh, in a particular country. So uh, as an individual, you must come to a place whereby you want to have total control of the means of production where you create your own economy. You no longer depend upon your employer. You no longer depend upon uh, the government for survival but you are creating your own economy so today we want to touch on the aspect of how do you create your own economy how do you create your own economy as an individual where do we start from uh, number one is to identify your unique value proposition identify your unique value proposition uh, you need to ask yourself what benefits and value uh, can i give to the world you start to create your economy when you sit down you ask yourself what benefits what value can i give myself to the world and you do this uh, by searching out on your uh, talents skills and passions um you look at how god wired you in creation what is it that i have what are uh, the strength that i possess what are the inbuilt capacities that I have as an individual, then you start looking from there. What are my passions, my skills, my talents uh, that will help me uh, to create my own personal economy? After you determine uh, your talents, your skills, your passions, you now need now to see how you can provide value to others through your skills your talents and your passions you know god is a creative genius mm -hmm. and god wired us in creation in such a way that your gold is tied to your gift your gold is tied to your gift so if you sit down and uh, you search deep uh, right within you and see what form of gifts abilities uh, that God created uh, with me, you can actually dig gold out of your gift. So God wired us in creation in such a way that your gift, your gold is tied to your gift. And um, God wired... So no one came here empty-handed. Yes. Yeah, for, because for some reason there are people who think that they have, they have nothing. But then God would not even send you here on, on earth, you know. <laughs> If he didn't give you something that equips you and that sustains, you know, your livelihood. You know, I, I love it, Vic, and the way how you are, you're, you're, you're putting it across. You know, I always um, put it in this way that the moment you came out of your mother's womb, uh, the chief architect, you know, uh, had done a perfect job. He was satisfied mm -hmm. beyond any reasonable doubt that this creature that I've created will make it and has got everything that he or she needs uh, to make it and to live a great life here on earth. But you know, the greatest mistake 
or the lie that we have been sold to as uh, human beings is through the education system because we tend to define ourselves mm. based on academic grades paper, my certificate, and in English, and in maths. Do you think, uh, in your right uh, frame of mind, that God created you for your life to be defined uh, by English, <laughs> <laughs> by, 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 by mathematics? Come on. My revise is you are kuti pavaka kusika and it ga a panish of akatu isama uri. So your duty, you know, there has to be a marriage um, with the education system to help us to hatch out, to, to bring it out, what God has given us. You know, um, you know the word education, weekend, it comes from the Greek word ejuko. Ejuko means uh, to, 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 to uh, hatch out. Mm. Um, it, it, it means to, to bring it out. Mm. So right education must help you to unleash the potential that God has placed in the inside of you. But, you know, to end out court of weekend, you know, memorize, you know, you know, you know, you know, but, tisinga, zibe, you know, mune, 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 goride, raka isko na mwari matiri, raka wanda, mchipo chako. And another thing is that our profit is tied to our potential. God wired us in creation in such a way that our profit is tied to what? To our potential. So, in your potential, there is your profit. There is your profit. And also that our our treasure is tied to our talents. Hmm. Our treasure is tied to our talent. And also that our influence and impact is tied to our ideas. If you want to be a man or a woman of influence in this world, uh, you must be a, uh, a person who is a creative thinker, a person uh, who chants out ideas that solve uh, people's problems. And um, if we, whilst you are looking at that weekend, um, I want to uh, illustrate more on the aspect of capital. Because last week when we closed, people were saying that you are talking about creating your own economy, but we don't have capital. You know, I, I always uh, I, I define capital or break it into two forms. Um, we have got um, intrinsic capital and we have got extrinsic capital. Intrinsic capital, it is God-given. God, in his manifold wisdom in creation, created you with the capital. There is no any person who is hear, hearing the sound of my voice this wonderful morning who doesn't have capital. Mm. Because you mm. will be stranded on earth. So if I got to seek out the capital. Now, intrinsic capital comes um, in these three forms. Number one, it is energy capital. Energy capital. Fact that energy you can translate that energy into capital uh, using your labor uh, to actually uh, create money that can help you to start that idea that you have. So energy capital. Uh, number two, uh, we have got ability capital that we're talking about that everyone has got a gift. You can actually use your gift. How many people have created their own economy with their gifts weekend? Huh? Yeah. A eh, economy yavo nechi nema ability. Mm. Eh, uh, Ana Cristiano Ronaldo. Ah. Huh? Mm -hmm. eh, eh, have they not created their uh, their economy with their God given uh, abilities? Yeah. Eh, so my ability yako kuba tarisa kutu kuba uh, kumakumbo kwako. Huh? Chicha uno gona kushandi sa muna iri chipo makumbo makom. Tarisa moko makom. Tama muna iri chipo moko makom. And it's then another uh, third form ye yeah, capital weekend in Ingrikini it's a uh, mind capital from what's it's capital Saka, even if we give you extrinsic capital in terms of money and resources if you don't have intrinsic capital you will not be able to uh, utilize it to the fullest and to create your own economy so it starts from there um, and also in economics there is a there is a law called the law of comparative advantage the law of comparative advantage um, states that um, an economy, it is the economy's ability to produce goods and services at a lower economic cost. There is something uh, that individuals, companies, and nations must master if they want to uh, build and grow their economies. The law of comparative advantage. You look at what is it that you can do better than others, easier than others. Mm -hmm. And then you will then benefit um, from trade using the law of comparative advantage and also now we want to look at the four levels of value creation quickly for there are four levels of value creation number one is implementation implementation this is the level where you do your work yourself you are watching the um, where you follow instructions 
uh, to get things done. That's the primary level of value cre creation, implementation, where you are, you are, you are an implementer. You do the work yourself. You are being told what to do to make money. This is the uh, uh, lower level. Then we have got unification, uh, number two. Uh, this is the level where you bring people together to make money. You know, using other people's minds, effort to make money. Mm. You know, the, the, you know, a fascinating example is the example of Henry Ford. Uh, of uh, the Ford company. Uh, Henry Ford was not a man who was educated according to the world standards. Mm -hmm. um, but Henry Ford uh, was a genius in his own right. Um, he worked with uh, what, are, what are called masterminds. I check a van, V. Candy, a van of Gona Quita, Asga Goni, E. A Wovout Zot in DT, a van Vevo Vazita, a and then Henry Ford will make a lot of money. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, when uh, they designed the V6 engine, the engineers told Henry Ford that it's, it's, it's impossible for us to design something like that. Then Henry Ford said, it is possible. But he didn't know uh, uh, how it is supposed to be done. He said, I'm giving you 48 hours. If you don't come up with the solution, I'm going to fire you and look for other people. And within 48 hours, you know what? They'd come up with the solution. Wow. So the ability to use other people to make money. <laughs> And the guy, you go on a chat, you go, you go on a quite identifier. Suppose you have one. Yeah, that's. Eh, then you bring them together. Then you can achieve something. Then um, number 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 three, it's communication. Uh, this is the level where you share your ideas to the world. You write, speak, or teach to make money. You write, you uh, you speak, and teach to make money. Uh, weekend, my voice is my invoice. I'm paid for speaking. Mm -hmm. I, I realize and I've seen you weekend in, uh, on the social media uh, the corporates uh, you know where you are uh, master of ceremony director you're a facilitator paid to speak. yes <laughs> you are paid to speak you're making money so that's what teachers do you know so you, you communicate your ideas speaking to make money uh in last year when I launched my book the mental gearbox weekend I sold uh Five, over 500 copies that's about uh, 7,500 US by writing putting my ideas communicating my ideas through writing so uh, it's the third level is communication you can actually make money through communication then uh, the last one is imagination this is the level where value is created this is the level where you create new ideas when we talk about money weekend money is a product of ideas that has been converted into goods and services money is a product of ideas that has been converted into goods and services mm. money is actually created and multiplied by ideas money is uh, created and multiplied by ideas ideas they actually magnetize resources wow Ide ideas magnetize they magnetize resources. resources wow yes so idea so Trukuti, uh if ever you are going to create value to create your own economy um it's very possible we are looking at a level weekend in this country where individuals they grow their own economy to such a level that it begins to uh, overspill and begin to feed into the national economy Mm. It overspills and begin to uh, feed into the national economy, having an impact whereby you employ other people uh, through your own personal economy. Uh, say, I am sick and tired of living in the world created by other men. I want to create my own world. I want to create my own economy that feeds and sustains me which is of paramount importance while creating your own personal economy uh the conversation here on the morning galaxy money mondays thank you so much windrows for those who want to uh get in touch with you and any other information you may want to share yes v candy um you can um uh, get in touch with me uh, across all social medias uh the marketplace evangelist uh, Windows Shifarimba. You can also get in touch with me on 0772 767693 0772 767693 and um, you can also um, hear about, about the upcoming business masterclass that we are doing on the first week uh, of on the on the first week of May, um, we will be talking about uh, creating multiple streams of income. If you want to attend that, uh, get in touch with me. It will be happening in Harare. Thank you, Vikan. Thank you so much. Looking forward to next week's session. Many Mondays right here on the Morning Galaxy on Star FM. Taking our time to ten o'clock. It is time for the news.